So if I like something, I'm gonna get it, okay? channel my name is Shamia if you're new welcome back if you have been here before in today's video we're going to do a luxury haul okay if you like luxury if you like fashion if you like beauty if you like any of those things why aren't you subscribed to me go ahead and subscribe to me right now because I got more of this coming on my channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment all right let's get straight into the video because I'm excited I got some pieces okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is from Louis Vuitton. I know you guys can guess what's in here. I know you guys can guess what's in here. Um, I got the LV hoop earrings. <laughs> At first, I did not want these. I saw them, dang, it was like almost a year ago. It was like October, November of last year. And I was like, uh, no, those are too gaudy. I don't want them. But I've seen people wear these and look so classy with like their hair up. So I got them for that purpose, like to wear and dress them up and just like make them super classy. Cause I feel like they can go either way, you know, like bamboo earring type style, like that type, that type vibe like sweetie vibe, bamboo earrings, bobbles, big baby hair, like that's just not my style. And that's what these reminded me of at first. If you dress them up, they can look really, really cute and really, really classy. So I'm gonna put them on just so you guys can see. Okay, so here they are. They just scream, whoop, LV. It's a statement, it's a moment. They just came in this classic LV box with a little dust bag for jewelry. These were $715. Um, I got them in store and they were the last pair in the store because every time I checked online, they were always out of stock. Um, but I happened to be in the store and checked on them and boom, they were there. So I said, you know what? These are meant for me. Let me go ahead and grab them. I have to kind of keep these earrings on while I continue the haul. They're cute. Okay, and I'll just stay on Louis Vuitton. What else I got from Louis? I haven't opened this, so let's unbox her. I got the Louis Vuitton perfume, a trap rive, a a trape, a trape rive. I think that's a trape. Girl, don't quote me. I promise you, I took French for like three years in high school, two years in college. So yeah, five years. It has a lot of packaging. Okay, I'm glad we unboxed this together so you guys can see, get the whole LV experience. This is what the bottle for the box looks like. So you just open it and here it is. 265 for a 3.4. I was like 265 for some perfume. Mm. But you can get refills if you just keep your bottle. And let me... Yes. This, now this is a grown woman floral. I tend to stay away from floral fragrances just because I feel like they're little girl and they remind me of uh, Victoria's Secret perfume. But this smells really, really good. You guys go test it out. I will uh, put the notes on the screen um, so you guys can get more of an idea. But I just love this. It's just like, it smells like heavenly let me know if you guys want to see a perfume haul because i'm kind of an addict i kind of have a lot of perfumes so i would love to do that on my channel this next item is near and dear to my heart um because this was my first chanel purchase i mean it's not a bag i'm going to get a bag i'll have a bag in no time don't even worry about it speaking it into existence um, but yes, this is my first purchase with Chanel. So um, yeah, I want to do the whole little unboxing experience. I actually uh, made an unboxing TikTok. So check my TikTok out. The name is the same as my YouTube name, Shamia Unique. But these are what I got. Yeah! <laughs> yes, I love these. I love these. I was in the store with my friends a couple weeks ago and they got Chanel earrings and I was like, I'm not feeling the choices here, so I'm just gonna wait. So I ended up texting the SA and she was like, girl, I was just looking for your number. Like I just got these in today and I'm like, give them to me. So I got them through her 
and then went in and picked them up and I just love them, love them, love them. Um, yes, I'm still excited if you can't tell. Um, I haven't worn them yet, but yes. So they were $4.25 pre-tax. So I paid $4.68.56 um, for these and I am in love. There is a warranty on Chanel earrings. So if anything happens, if like a stone falls out or something like that, like they will fix it or replace it. And let me put these ones on. Here they are. Oh my God, they're so cute. Y'all see me, y'all see, see me. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Here's just a closer look at the earrings. Yes, love them. So moving right along, we're going to stay on the Chanel train. I got these really cute Chanel sneakers a couple weeks ago, actually in Miami. If you watched my Miami vlog, you saw when I got these, uh, but here they are. They are so cute. I love these sneakers and they are comfortable, okay? They have like a rubber toe, uh, rubber all around here and then it's like suede here it has the classic chanel quilt pattern the gold cc it says chanel on the back and they just came with a chanel dust bag two dust bags um extra pair of laces love that and these ones were 1050 so i got those as well I've worn these a couple of times and they just look really, really, really cute. Even with like athletic wear, it just dresses it up and you just look like super put together, super cute. And my next item is another pair of shoes, Golden Goose tennis shoes. I've been wanting some for so long. Look at the packaging, y'all. I just really thought this was so cute. It comes with a little passport. You had just purchased an authentic Golden Goose product. This is a QR code that you can scan to learn more about the product. Um, so I thought that was really fun and cute. It only came with one dust bag. The shoes are really slim, so it shouldn't be a problem. But these are what I got from Golden Goose. Y'all, these are so cute and they go with anything. It's honestly the way that the shoe fits the foot that makes it just so cute. I had these on in the store. I had on like shorts and a bodysuit and it was cute. And then I tried them on with like a Skims legging set, cute. So it's just like, it looks good with everything. And I wanted a color that I could wear with anything because there were some like crazier, funkier colors. They have the sparkly laces. It says Golden Goose on the back and then GGDB on the side with the star. And yes, you guys, yes, these are the shoes that come looking dirty already. That is the style. Do not ask me why. Do not ask me why I will purchase a shoe like this because I thought it was cute. Okay. I've seen them on other people and I like it. Okay. So if I like something, I'm gonna get it. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I got these um, and these were $530. Okay, so my next couple of purchases um, are from Wolford. I got these items, the scuba leggings and the fatal skirt. I'll start off with the leggings and they just came in that box. I actually got these leggings on a good, really good sale. I either got them at Revolve or Forward, but they were 109. Um, and these leggings are normally, um, I think they're normally 170, but I was like, girl, I'm not about to pay no 170 for no leggings. Now, I do believe in Wolfers quality. I love it. I have their um, bodysuit and I wear that thing all the time. It snatches me up. It pushes the boobs up. It just looks super cute. So I was like, you know what? I trust in Wolfer. Let me go ahead and order these 100 plus dollar leggings and see what they do. The quality of the leggings is really, really, really good. They're super, they're super thick. They feel really good. They almost feel like, like slats but they just don't do anything amazing for my body. I'm not in love. I could have went my whole life without these leggings. And I'm like, did I get the wrong ones? Because I hear everybody, oh, the Wolfer leggings, the Wolfer leggings, the Wolfer leggings. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's not the Scubas. Maybe it's the other ones, which are the Auroras. So I'm gonna try those, but I swear, I tried them when I was in the store 
and they didn't feel like good quality so i was like let me not waste my money um but these feel really good like these feel like okay like i'm getting my money's worth they just don't look that great they're kind of wide at the bottom like it's not fitted to your leg like a legging and then it's this pant material so it's like a weird crisscross between a slack pant and a legging um, and I don't know what's going on. They're not all that. They're just not all that. That's just that's just tea on these. They're not all that. Okay, and then I also, as I mentioned, got the Fatal skirt. I got this one while I was in store. Let me see how much I paid for this one. Uh, this skirt was $150 originally, and then I used my little 15% off um, in store, so I ended up paying $127.60. I actually don't wear this as a skirt. I got it to wear as a tube dress. Um, I've yet to wear it because when I wanted to wear it, I was super bloated and I didn't want to look pregnant in the dress. But y'all, you know how you have like 14 days to bring an item back or whatever? Tell me why I saw this on the 14th day and I had a trip the next day and I could not be going to Walford. It was, Walford was already closed and I saw this. It has a little snag. So I'm like, bruh, like, I might just be cool on all of Walford clothes besides the bodysuits, because the bodysuit has done me no wrong. It's done me really good. But like, why is there a snag in this? Like, for $150, I just feel like the quality should be better. I would have been a fan, but the snag, the snag got me. The snag before I even wore, before I even wore it, so this item is worth 150, but it's tag before I even wore it. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take that to get fixed. I don't know if they will exchange it for a new one or not. I just didn't even feel like being bothered with it because I was going on vacation the next day. So I just let this sit. Um, so yeah, I might call up to Wolfer and see what they can do because uh, I do want to go get a, the nude bodysuit. So I'll be back to Wolfer soon. But yes, that is my experience. And this last item in my haul, I am very, very, very excited about. I got a bag from Balenciaga. When I filmed my last haul, I was saying I only got shoes and clothes. And I cut out the part where I said, I should have got a bag, but I'm going to get one. I was like, I want a big bag though. So like, I don't want to get some rinky dink bag. So I'm just going to wait, but the bag is going to come to me. I'm going to get a bag. Boom. Here's my bag, okay? The power manifestation is real. So I'm gonna put this out there now. My next bag is going to be a Chanel, period. So I will let you guys know when that happens. But here is the bag that I got. It just came in this dust bag. Here it is. Very, very, very beautiful. It's just, this bag is so classy to me. And I love it. I got the black on black, so I can wear it with gold hardware. I can wear it with silver hardware. I'm going to stop buying black bags now because I need color. <laughs> but yes, I love this bag. It also comes with a long strap, so you can wear her crossbody. Um, and that's why I went with this smaller version because there is a version that's a little bit bigger than this one. Uh, this is the mini because I feel like when you wear this crossbody, um, it looks cuter this size than it did in the bigger size. The bigger size just looked kind of weird crossbody. And I really wanted a bag that um, I could wear top handle because I just feel like it's so classy. I didn't have any top handle bags. So um, it just has the paper in there and then um, Balenciaga tag. Here's what it looks like inside. It just says Balenciaga right here. I can fit quite a bit in here. I always know a bag is good when I can fit my edge toothbrush in there. <laughs> my edge toothbrush and my chestnut lip liner. Um, so they can fit in here. I just put them um, sideways and it doesn't like smush my bag or anything. And then also there's a slot in the back. So yes, you can fit quite a bit in this bag and it's still like small and compact. So I love that. And the price tag on her was $2,090. So I will not be pulling her out that often, um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely love this bag. And it's only up from here, okay? Like I said, we're moving on. We're getting big bags. Love this bag, super cute, super classy, and yeah. 
All right, you guys, that is all for today's luxury haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe.